Now that after creating and sending the HTTP request to the server, we need to listen to the port. And after listening to the port, we will be able to set up a connection with the socket. And then with the help of server socket, we can actually manage that port and we'll be able to continue the communication. So for that purpose, I've created actually a start listening method, which would be actually listening to the port number. Here on, we're going to pass on the port number with the help of parameter. And then I've actually created a, a Boolean value listening, which I've cre previously created in a previous video that is actually private boolean listening so we are actually declaring it true that yes now the port is going to listen the socket connection is going to listen and then we created actually and started the server socket which is actually used to handle the port number in this one and then we actually assign that port number to the listening port that is actually listening port we have created this listening port above in the variables as we have initially assigned it a number of zero, nothing else than that. And now we are actually assigning the real port number through which we are going to be actually communicating. And then I return zero for if actually the server socket is made and the, if it is listening to the port number, the defined port number, then I am going to return the zero in the exception. Now the next thing is that uh, while listening means that uh, while uh, port is actually we are actually listening to the port in the meantime until uh, the listening to the port is ended you gotta have to perform this step so what is this step is this step is actually used to accept the connection and it is actually as you can see that the server socket dot accept means that we are actually accepting that specified port number and then actually we are starting with the help of new receive connection class new receive connection class is the same class from which we have extended the thread if I just call to the up area and there it is it is actually a receive connection class which is actually extending the thread and now I'm gonna get back to my code that is and then in the exception I'm going to return to if uh, it is listening to the port and accepting the server socket and starting it then return to in the exception and uh, the next one is actually server socket dot close after listening after creating a connection to the port and then listening to the port uh, here in this area while listening we have actually accepted that server socket now you're going to have to close it because after every gate is open you're going to have to close it down too so we are now actually closing the server socket after listening to it and now we have actually provided a logger in the uh, exception in for output exception that if any kind of exception error occurs then we're going to have to mention it by exception server socket so exception when closing the server socket means that the error has appeared when you we were actually closing the socket and for this I'm going to return the number 3 so uh, you can also return the, the number of uh, your own choices like 1, 2, 3 so I've just uh, delete with like that and then I just return in here return 1 as a default uh, boolean uh, data type as it is actually a return type so I've just actually return 1 which means that yes we begin to listening the port and uh, if we start listening the port then it will be actually 1